Hi, I'm Harish Gaudetti and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about, so this is one of the questions that I, I got multiple times. Um, so I want to make a video of the, uh, for the, to answer this question. So if, the, if you are trying to become an AWS partner, if you are into IT consulting and trying to become an AWS partner, um, and uh, you know, I made a video called how to become a, uh, a, an AWS partner and which got really good response and this is a follow-up for that particular video. So what it really this video is about is in part when you become a partner like when you register that in that video you learn how to register yourself in a partner center and all of that stuff. So once you register and decide to become a partner there are some requirements and the first level of AWS partner uh, partner tiers is select tier. The challenge here is until you re reach select tier, you don't get any benefits out of AWS partner program, um, right? Not not benefits in the sense like you can't really, uh, you know, um, take your business to the next level until you uh, reach the select tier. And uh, what that means is like you can't get into competency programs. Uh, you you won't you are not eligible for marketing development funds. So there are so many things that you cannot do until you reach AWS select tier. So what happens, why you need to get to that select tier quickly is you, the moment you decide to become a partner, you pay $2,500 as partner fee, right? And with and that's, that's annual, right? So before the next year, you want to go ahead and become a partner and get that money back at least, at least the select tier. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve AWS select tier status as an AWS partner quickly. Um, so let's move on. So that, you know, basically I'm going to show you, explain the select tier requirements one more time, uh, how to achieve the knowledge milestone, how to achieve the experience milestone, and how can I help you in this, in your partner journey. So first thing is AWS select tier requirements. Let's go through it one more time. So you pay $2,500 a recurring fee every year. So that's one thing uh, you pay up what you pay uh, ahead of time. Uh, so first you pay the $2,500. What you get is you get $3,500 in return from AWS as AWS credits to your AWS account. So it's not, the money is not getting wasted. It's just that you have um, you know you basically have three thousand five hundred dollars in credits in aws that you can use to build your demos and, and stuff like that to offset your aws costs that's really cool the second thing is the second knowledge requirement is uh, sorry second thing is knowledge requirement so in order to become a partner and reach select tier you need at least three team members uh, right uh, ideally it's four but three is good um, assuming that you as a business owner also uh, are a techie and can get AWS certification. So if not, then you need three more people. So a total of four, right? So uh, the Cloud Practitioner Foundational Certified, you need two people to be a Cloud Practitioner uh, Foundation Certification to associate or professionals, right? So professional certifications, you need two of them. Um, then technical acc accreditation, uh, you need two. Business accreditation, you need two. Um, so with three people, based on different, you know, different certifications, you should be able to achieve this this uh, this requirement. Um, technical accreditation, business accreditation is not difficult. It's just the two couple of couple of courses in the skill builder that you complete, and you get you and your scorecard reflects those. Uh, uh, once you complete the assessment. The scorecard will reflect it so that's pretty the knowledge requirement is not the challenging aspect for any partner right so you can right so it is really the experience requirement so if you are brand new to um to it consulting or if you are in it consulting um and but brand new to aws um then um, so what you basically need to achieve is you need at least three closed opportunities with a total monthly recurring revenue of $1,500 to AWS, right? It's not $1,500 to you, but it is $1,500 of monthly recurring revenue to AWS, right? So it has to be three opportunities 
and the fifteen hundred dollars is an is is the gross like the aggregate of all three opportunities. So it can be like three different engagements with a single client, or three different clients, or two clients and three engagements doesn't matter. But you need to have three different opportunities uh, listed or in your partner central accepted and closed, and and you need to have that total amount or I mean you know fifteen hundred dollars. So that's really uh, is the key. Um, so so let's let's move on and to the next slide where I'll tell you how to achieve knowledge milestone. As I said, you basically go ahead hire a college graduate and give them an opportunity to get certified if they are into cloud sponsor their certification. And the reason I say sponsor is because you pay one fifty dollars in certification and once you once they complete the certification. AWS gives you back $300 in credits uh, and they get added to your AWS account as well. So you're not really wasting any money. So you can, you know, you can hire graduates and, you know, if they're curious to learn and, be, and, and start a career in cloud, give them an opportunity. You need to have, um, have an experienced engineer or an architect, right? So with an associate or professional level certification, um, that's another requirement. You, uh, you yourself uh, can get certified and add your certification to the scorecard as well. So these are the, uh, these are the ways that you can achieve the knowledge milestone very quickly. Um, so the next thing is that that's the fun part, the really the experience, right? So achieving experience milestone. So how do you get the first three opportunities? For people who are in business for a long time, it's pretty easy. I mean, I don't say easy. You probably already have connections. You have probably done projects, IT projects. I mean, maybe you have enough contacts to get those three opportunities. I don't, I don't know. But if you are like me or or any new new company who are who are trying to become an AWS partner and did not do any AWS services like uh, consulting earlier, um, like as part of did not deliver any AWS projects earlier, uh, then it's gonna be a challenge. And what, so how do we start? So the best thing is, let's say you are, you want to, you are, uh, uh, you're focused on your competency is security. Let's just say your business, uh, IT, your background and everything is in security and you want to provide security solutions with AWS. Fair enough, right? So that's your, that's the reason you became an AWS partner. It's pretty good. However, the challenge comes here is, selling you know security solutions database solutions or you know uh, connect um, marketing like pinpoint so those can be a little difficult to to begin with because um, the sales cycles are longer uh, right and also um, you need to prove your authority in that space um, so and and you, and it's hard to find it's uh, i don't say hard but it is Comparatively difficult to find target audience who need that service, right? So those are the and they are probably already have something in place and you need them to migrate to AWS So it's again a longer project um, so irrespective of what your background is um, with uh, You know with IT uh, what I recommend is you pick a very easy and simple service AWS service that you can sell right so my recommendation, and also I think I think AWS also says that in, in the documentation in the Partner Central is one of the first workloads that people try to move to the cloud are backups. So every business wants to do something with their backup, like backup, you know, something, right? So all you need is like $500 that they need to pay to AWS every month and any small business can do it, right? So your figure out if AWS backup, learn about AWS backup, if AWS backup is, if, if that is something that, that you want to do, it's pretty easy, right? One of the easiest things, storage is another easiest option, right? Uh, S3 or, you know, EFS, the storage options. So backup is part of the storage, uh, you know, store and secure data pack, a campaign. So backups is one of the easiest things, service, simple services that you can sell and doesn't carry a lot of friction with, with, the, with the potential clients because 
yeah they understand what it is about they know the value maybe they are using tape drives and they're running out of it uh, space whatever it is so it, it could be one of the easiest options to get started with um, so then you have to build your web presence people need to know who you are uh, you need, and, and I recommend targeting small businesses you may say hey we want to uh, do a you know a fifty thousand dollar project or hundred yes you you, can, you you will do it but don't we have to walk before we run right so target small businesses maybe less than a million or two million in annual revenue and who are really uh, where the business owner knows about all these things but don't have enough time to focus and and and, and do it by himself or hire like you know don't can't trust other people uh, outside you know other uh, other people maybe they outsource something to an IT company and they are not really bothered about their their strategy stuff like that so you small target small businesses uh, who, who you know who are making a, a million two or three a year and those are very easy targets right so then um, so that's the next thing uh, published relevant content so People need to know that you know this stuff, right? So publish relevant content like videos, blogs, etc., um, right? And ebooks. E so one of the re quick ways to do that is AWS. Uh, once you pay the partner fee, in the marketing central, you will have campaigns with ebook templates, you know, infographic templates, um, you know, blog templates that you can just repurpose and add your add some other stuff and just publish them. So there's a lot of help from the marketing central as well so next thing is uh, use marketing central and in that you will have complete marketing and sales prospecting training specific to AWS that's, that's available in the uh, in the marketing academy um, so go ahead do those trainings and uh, you'll understand more on how to how to position yourself as a partner because there are 100,000 110,000 partners in, in, uh, for AWS how do you differentiate yourself among them, right? So that's really the key. Why should anyone work with you versus others? Uh, so that's really important and that, that training will teach you that. Um, so there are pre-built campaigns in Marketing Central that you can launch and run the social media campaigns. You can do that too. Um, so other thing is you should initially, if you don't have a, a, a previous under like in IT business uh, clients, you probably have to do outreach campaigns. I I find Apollo um, to as a very good source to find target audience. Um, so I recommend doing that outreach campaign, saying hey, uh, we are so so. But when you do out, the reason I put outreach campaigns at the end is because when you do an outreach to someone, immediately they want to find if they are curious to or if they're planning to um, planning to engage with AWS they immediately try to find out who you are and this happens every time so same I mean it, it's all basic human psychology if someone reaches out, reach out uh, you know reaches out to you and wants to sell something you want to see who, whether the person is genuine does he know what he's talking about all that stuff right so that's the reason all the stuff on the top is important before you do an outreach campaign so these are the ways that you can accelerate your uh, your your, your um, uh, yourself to achieve the select tier status so the three opportunities are critical and that's where most new partners struggle and 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 and, and myself uh, you may be wondering whether i achieved or not my target is not to build a big aws business myself and my my job is to um, help very i mean i don't I'm not into building a big team and, and business. That's not my cup of tea. Um, I want. That's why I want to partner with people who are passionate about doing that. Um, I am a technical person. Uh, I love enjoy. Uh, I love technology. I help solving problems. Um, so that's the reason I, I just take a handful of clients that I can serve myself and, and do it um, as part of the partner program. Um, right. So. Uh, what you will see is I'll, I I reach the opportunities, but I don't have a big enough. Uh, you know, I don't want to build a big enough team. That's right. That's the reason I partner and help potential partners who wants to build a good business out of AWS and and, and my assistance to them uh, in different areas. So 
how can I help you if you are trying to become an AWS partner? So there's something called an alliance lead. So there's so much to learn about partner portal and managing partner portal, map program, marketing development funds, all of that stuff. So I did all my research. I did, I learned that stuff. I know how to do it. So instead of you trying to figure out everything out, I can just be your alliance lead for your portal and, and manage it. Uh, build online presence obviously my uh, my skill set is to build online presence you know with you know content running campaigns and stuff so define um, content strategy for your partner business let's say if you are a secure so I'm, the, I'm, a, so I'm a solutions architect right certified solutions architect and and also cloud practitioner I have I have uh, you know a bunch of other you know uh, competencies that with AWS that that I passed Right, so with that, with my skill set, I if you are saying, hey, we want to build a security AWS business, I can define the strategy on how you need to approach it and things like that. Uh, build marketing campaigns using Marketing Central. Uh, right, so I I understand my, I I reviewed all the campaigns, I modified all the campaigns, so I I totally understand the Marketing Central in and out. So I can help you with that. Uh, publish, create and publish content to increase authority for your brand. Uh, so definitely that can be done. Uh, demand generation campaigns, I can run, you know, I, I'm, I'm a social media certified a person. I can run Facebook ads, I can run LinkedIn ads, I can run demand, I can do the demand generation campaigns for you. As a, as a techie and, and solutions architect, if you don't have an architect in-house, I can provide uh, architect assistance as well. If you are curious and uh, you know if you are in the partner journey and need help, uh, just go ahead and reach out to me at info at cloudoptimize.net or you can go just go ahead and leave a comment and uh, I'll reach out to you. So I hope this video is useful and uh, good luck on your AWS partner journey. Thank you.